this is Gage here. He's trying to play for a floating point. Uh, hi. <laughs> yeah, you can talk to them. I can? Or no? Yeah, you can talk to them. Sweet! Now, uh, let go. Let go. You right click. Left. Yeah, see? Oh, that. Oh. Yeah, you use the two separate buttons to click and to uh, let go. He's brand new to this game. I've only given him like, like a five second tutorial and now he has to play it by himself, which is kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> you right click to get off of it. Okay. Um. I'm giving him a little bit of helpful advice in here, but not too much because I want to see how frustrated he'll get. <laughs> okay. There. Alright, uh, you have to go grab those little red bars that are coming out eventually if you ever get started to move. You see the red bars? Oh, I see them now. Yeah, you have to touch those. They probably just didn't spawn because they didn't think you're gonna make it anywhere anytime soon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're doing this all by accident, like no. some of these bars. You're like, like, oh, I accidentally clicked. Oh, at least it got me a bar or something. I think that's how it's happening. Yes. How loud's the music? Um, not too loud. Can you still hear your voice over it? Yep, I can. Clearly? It's pretty clear. Oh, yeah. Alright, good. Damn it. it. Takes me a lot of audio setting up, and I forgot to set up the audio today. I'm just hoping it's set to default from what I did yesterday when I did this video. Oh. Gage will also be playing a few of my other Steam games. Damn it. Which I did not tell him about until now. Okay. And more videos, I guess. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be playing a game that we're both going to be playing, taking turns. Oh. Because it's a brand new game I just found out about. It, it is called, uh, You Have to Win the Game. So, uh, oh, that one? Oh, you, damn you Have to Win the Game is what we're going to play. This is probably really awkward for you right now, because I kind of have to, have to lean into your neck to speak. Yes, it's, it looks like you're trying to drain my blood. I know. I'm a vampire. Right. I'm a vampire. Ah! Right, yeah, <laughs> got it. Yeah, so Just try and catapult yourself. If I stop going up. Uh -huh. There we go. How long have you think you've been playing? Uh, less than five minutes. How much less than five minutes? Um, two. <laughs> Three. Huh? Three. Oh. Close enough. How did you know? <laughs> Um, I'm pretty good with time. I thought, so, I thought you were taking down at the little counter. No. Oh, I didn't realize that until now. Yeah, you have a 10 second limit for each game. What? 10 second limit for each game. I mean, no, 10 minute limit. Oh. <laughs> each game. You can still play after that, but that's how long the recording lasts. Oh. So at 9.30, you should probably start wrapping it up. When it gets to 9 minutes and 30 seconds. Alright, so, uh, do you understand the basic premise of the game so far? Yeah, I do. I didn't understand a single thing you said, but okay. Yeah. Can you hear my voice clearly in there? Yeah. Alright. Come on. He says he finds the microphone weird because it makes him sound like a little girl or something. Or I'm yes, laughing. a lot like a little, little girl. Well, that's how uh, you actually sound. Do I sound like I actually sound? Um, nope. Yes, I do. Sorry. I bumped his hand right there, and he missed his little target. Oops, my bad. What? Colin, stop! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I just click on the WASD keys, because he's using the arrow keys. Alright, so, uh, having fun with this game so far? Yeah, I like it. What does that dot remind you of? Dot? Dot? What does the whole line remind you of? The whole line? Yeah, what does it, like, remind you of? Like, whenever you click, it, like, latches onto something. Grappling hook? Yeah. This game was actually designed after a grappling hook. Oh, really? Yes. So, if you had a grappling hook, this is good practice to use it? Yeah. Oh. Cool. 
Except I don't think you'll be gra grappling underwater too much. So. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so, too. Yeah, and I don't think that if you grapple underwater that you're going to stay like that. No. <laughs> the physics of this game are based around a tiny little red dot. Which you can clearly see. Yes, clearly see. What well, is running at 30 frames per, ten per second, so I hope you can. Hmm? It's running at 30 uh, FPS, so I'm pretty sure. They uh, can all see it. Yeah. 30 frames per second. I know that, okay? I'm not that stupid. Well, you didn't know uh, what I was doing when I was changing the aspect ratio. What? <laughs> see? Okay, ma okay, I don't know that, but I know what uh, 30 f frames per second means. What does that mean? It means how many, like, pictures it takes us. It takes. It takes us? That's a new word. No. It, I said that by mistake, okay? Yeah, okay. Yes, he is, but he's busy right now. Alright, so, uh. Yeah, I'm Let's just go around here. And, uh. Our time's coming, sort of. Coming up. Alright, so, uh. Try going underwater and grappling some of those. Now, underwater, I should probably tell you, the gravity is reversed. I know. I realized that uh, when I first went into it. Yeah, and the music also changes tone. The music sounds more muffled underwater, which I think is a really nice effect. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> You're just now learning how f much freedom this game gives you. I think this game is not even like a grappling hook simulator, I think it's more of a freedom simulator. You have like freedom to go any place you'd like. With said grappling hook. We still have quite a few left, I think. I lied. We only have a couple. Alright, let's see if you can get the last two. You might have to catapult yourself off of something else to get them. I want to hint. Right click and grapple onto that one. Now swing yourself like that. Swing yourself up. Grapple. Swing yourself around. Swing yourself around it, I was going to say. You don't understand this, do you? No. You need my help. No, I don't. Alright, so grapple onto that to gain momentum. Grapple off of that and grapple onto that thing over here. What you want to do is you want to get a running start at it. You don't want to start near it. So right click and grapple onto that. Momentum, let go. Okay. <laughs> Do you think you can get the last two within yeah. a minute? That's what I was going to say. Now you grapple off of that, and there you go. Whoa. That shows you all the places you've been. <laughs> now use cool. the use the roller to actually zoom out, and that's all the places that you've. Really? You've been. Wow. Yeah. That's how many lines you've made. It looks like made. art. Well, it could be. Yeah, yeah, I guess so too. So that was Gage's first time playing Floating Point. What is your review? Yes! What's your review of this game? It is confusing. Confusing. When I first played it. Yeah. But when I got through it, it was a lot better. It's a lot... Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really fun. Yeah. And uh, what would you rate this game out of 10? Um... I gave it a six. Why? Well, um, I like the music and uh, it's uh, physics, but it's, it's a little confusing on like uh, the gravities because uh -huh. in the red part you're you're going upwards, but in the uh, gray part you're going downwards. That's so it gets confusing. And uh, the well, controls with water. the left, with the left, and you uh, let go. Yeah. I don't really like that. It just when I try to let go, I press the wrong button and I. Like, go all over the place. Alright, so thank you guys all for watching, and peace out.